everyone, welcome back to Southern Mama Colors. Today I have for you my completed pages video. Sorry, it's taken me so long to get it out this month. I was trying to complete one page. But I have a massive stack of books here to try and go through to share with you. So we're going to go ahead and shove these out of the way. And we're going to get started. And I'm going to grab my buddy color page out of my other journal. So that that way I do know what I am talking about. Okay, I haven't done that many pages this month, but it only looks like a few, a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and start with Colada Morphia by Kirby Rosens. Okay. So here is Collada Morphia by Kirby, and this page was completed or started on April 1st and finished on April 5th, which is this one right here. I don't even know if you guys can see the whole page. I'm trying to adjust my tripod to where you guys can see the entire page. Sorry if I'm making you sick. Alright, so that's about as good as I can get it. If I can, alright, there we go. Okay, here is Kirby Rosen's Kaleidomorphia, and I do not remember exactly what all I used. Okay, so I used Prisma Color Pencils, Arteza Magic Fly um, Acrylic Paint. I also used Stickles Glitter Glue, Artsy Watercolor Paint, and a white gel pen on this page. And I really love how it turned out. This page took me, I want to say, five days to complete. And I do have a work in progress in here. We'll have to find it. Um, here is my work in progress. I have not yet completed it, but to me, I think this book brings out my best work. And I absolutely love this book. This page is being done in all Prisma color pencils, so yeah, I can't wait to show it to you guys when I do eventually get it completed. I'm going to go ahead and tap that with an orange down here at the bottom so that I know it is a completed or a work in progress. And that is basically all I've done out of Kirby this month. And the next book that we have is Hannah Lynn Early Works, if I can find it. Mm, okay. So, I did do a few pages out of Hannah Lynn Early Works, and I did, um, one for my 50 states buddy colors, which I will share with you guys. This one was for 50 states buddy colors. We originally had planned on doing something else. And we just went ahead and decided on doing this one. And I absolutely love how this one turned out. This was a buddy color with Amanda. And I just love them. And the next page that I've done was this one right here. This one I used all of Hulu markers with this one. And I love how it turned out. So I am hoping to, you know, have more of these completed. This one 
this month and I do hope on doing more Fizzy Stakes Bunny Colors. So, and the next book that I have done a page in is Entangled Gardens. That was a newest book. And I've only done one page in here. I do have a work in progress. Here is the page that I completed from Entangled Gardens and I used all of the blue brush markers. And here is my work in progress that I have started. I haven't yet completed it, so I'm going to tab it with orange. So I know I need to finish it. And that is it from Entangled Gardens. Okay, so the next one that I have completed this month is Mandela Tessellations by John Wick. I do have two buddy colors done in here. And if I do have buddy colors done, I will be sure to add their pictures in the video beside mine so that you guys can see them. And this one was with Miranda at Mermaid Art over on Instagram. This is the second one we chose to do. And this is the next one. There is a video of this one up on my channel if you would like to go and watch that. So the next book that I chose to color out of was Worlds of Wonder. And let me find that one. Alright, so... This was a buddy color with the lovely Brooke over on Instagram, and we chose to do this page out of Worlds of Wonder. And this was the page that I cho we chose. There is also a video of this one up on my channel. And in this page, I did add in some of my handmade watercolors that I create. I do have an Etsy shop. I don't know if you can see the shimmer and sparkle from them, but... They are super sparkly and super wonderful to use and I absolutely love them and the rest of the page was done with Prismacolor and I just want to say thank you for coming to color with me. Okay so the last page that I have done is Mythographic Dream Garden. And you have seen that one in, I'm pretty sure you saw that one with my color along announcement, which was this one. And I completed this with all Derwent ink tints, and I love how it turned out. I do have a metallic blue watercolor background. So here is that one, and this was done with Elise Charlene Fine Art. You can also go and check her channel out, and if they do have channels, I will be sure to link them down below. So... I will show you the last work in progress that I have for the month of April. This one probably won't get done until... Oh, I do have a few more that I completely forgot to write down. Mm, I have two more books right here. Sorry about that, guys. That's what happens when you're unorganized. 
So this is a work in progress and it is also a buddy color. And this is the last buddy color that I'm working on for the month of April. And I absolutely love how she's turning out. I'm using all Prisma color. And I use the CSY 36 set of watercolor paint to do her background with. And I absolutely love her. She's got purple hair and she don't care. So I'm hoping to have this finished for May. And if I do, I will gladly share that over on Instagram. And the next page that I did complete was from Village Charm by Teresa Goodridge. I did choose to complete this one and I completed this one with all Prisma colors and added in some gel pen. And I just really had fun with it. Mm. This one is a work in progress. I haven't quite yet gotten it finished. So I am going to tab it with orange. So maybe I can completely finish it this month. But that is the only one that I have colored out of that one. Alright, and the last book I think is um, Ivy and the Inky Butterfly by Johanna Basford. These two are works in progress. They have been works in progress for a very long while now. And I tend to get stuck. And I'm not really sure what colors to add to the page. So, here is another completed page. I completed this one a while back, but I don't think I shared it. So, this one took forever. So, but I really like the vibrant colors and I lo really love how it turned out. So, that's that page. Um, the page that I'm looking for is this one right here. This was a buddy color with Disney Meg's coloring and I did add in some of my neon watercolors that I created. And I used gel pen. As you've seen in the video, the background was like pink, purple, green, yellow, and blue. I did not like the background, so I switched it, and I just colored it all black. And I really like it now, so it looks like it's all popping out. And the last page that I did out of this book was the butterfly, because I didn't want to leave it, you know, blank since it was the page right there beside it and I just tried to match the colors correlating to the page beside of it. And I just want to say thank you guys for stopping by to watch my completed pages video and I do hope you enjoy this. And I hope to see you all in the mythographic and May color along along with our creative haven color along and our um Color Questopia Colorathon, which is two year long color alongs, and then Mythographic in May is a year long. But other than that, I hope to see you all there.